guys back with another video where we're going to be breaking down this image layer by layer i'm going to show you how i've created this image from the ground up what images i've used what blend modes and everything in between before we get started though i want to quickly jump to my website you will hear me um often in this tutorial talking about my brushes from my brush pack now this is the brush pack which is available to download on my site and um, these are the brushes i've created for myself to use in all of my composites um, and the brushes that i really really enjoy using i wanted to create some really high-end brushes for myself and um, so that's why i went about creating these brushes but i've made them available to download over on the website if you guys are interested i have also put together a um, composite bundle as well and basically if you're going to follow along to this tutorial you're going to obviously see how the composites are put together but if you want to put your own composites together i've bundled 10 psd files in this uh, download and um, which are all layered and all you have to do is use change swap out this subject for your own in that background but more than that you're going to be able to obviously see how these composite files are structured and how they're layered and you'll quickly realize how composites are made and um, I wanted to put together a process which was really nice and easy and simple and straightforward so there's 10 PSD files there to download where you can start creating your own composites instantly so with that out of the way we'll get into the tutorial so I'm going to switch all of these layers off and then I'm going to show you the images that I'm using to create the whole scene so this is the background image I'll show you me first actually that's me in the studio obviously what we need to do is obviously use the quick select subject tool um, and obviously cut me out it's never been easier to actually uh, cut a subject out now I'll click on the layer it's never ever been easier to cut a subject out in photoshop as it is now is one click of a button and instantly i'm highlighted obviously all you've got to do is go in and highlight the bag a little bit more but that's basically it nice and quick nice and easy and then obviously that's going to select mask then you would output that to a new layer okay so that's how easy it is to select a subject now in photoshop it's never never been easier so that's me that's the background that's the main background i tend to ride around obviously the northeast just grabbing lots of random images to use in my composites for future images and um, i have a big library now i'll pop a card to a video where you can go and check that out uh, watching me right around the northeast just taking random shots of random things it's uh, something i enjoy doing quite a lot the other image i've used is from a boat yard and i've also used an image of a boat and then obviously me as well which i've cut out and plonked in the image so that's all of the image and these images are shot using a combination of the z6 the z62 and the z50 the nikon z system and um, which all complement each other really really well so let's get started with the tutorial so our first now before we kick off actually i'll uh, just mention that there's no right or wrong way to create these portraits folks it's more of a feel it's more of what it looks like when you're building the image up you get a real feel for how it's come together and which direction you want to go in so i don't have any kind of rigid approach to creating composites i just go with the flow while i'm doing it and get a real feel for the image i've got an idea of what i want it to look like um, and i just try and aim for that so i start off with creating just a blank layer a um, simple blank layer down there and i'm just using nothing exciting other than the brush and a white brush and i've added a light behind me and i'm just at this point i'm literally just experimenting with different things and i actually didn't use that layer and um, so i'll switch it off but i just want to show you how i just try different things in the image to see if they work and if they don't um so with the background image i wanted to, to create with this whole image actually i wanted to create like a dark moody and um, mysterious eerie scene to the whole image now i wanted to change this to a, a nighttime scene so the easiest way to do that is through a software i have called on one software and it has a great filter in it called day to night and it literally just changes that image from a day scene to a night scene nice and quick you can't do this using curves but i just find this little filter nice and easy to use so the next step um is to add some light beams coming from the uh the lighthouse as if it's obviously casting beam in the light across the oceans 
Um, I've added one layer and then I've doubled it up again, added another layer and made it a little bit stronger. And I like working like this, I'll just build up layer by layer and adding them and that we have lots of control over every element that I'm putting into the image. The next step again was just to create another layer um, and used a white brush this time uh, for the main light in the centre, that spot in the centre. You can see it up here. I'll switch that on and off. And I'm just using the brush, the brush tool and just a plain white paint on there and I'm just dabbing it on and that's all I'm doing folks really nice and simple so the next step in the process again was to create a blank layer and on this layer I've used my brush from my ultimate brush bundle and I've created some splashes coming over the side of this fence here just to add a little bit more realism to it and it gives it a nice feel now obviously with turning the uh, lighthouse scene from day to night obviously I need to do the same process with not only the boat but obviously the fence too so I've done exactly the same with the fence and obviously turn that to a nighttime scene also um, and just obviously really darken that down so it looks like it's at night. So the next thing to do is to add, I like doing this, I add a background light behind me and that kind of just, I normally do it kind of where you want the focus to be so obviously at this point I want the focus to be on my face so I've added that background light kind of high above at the top behind my face and that just helps me pop for the background a little bit more again just creating a blank layer and using a white brush just dotting behind me and then just changing the opacity down to 54 percent and that's how easy that is that's super super simple the next step again created a blank layer i wanted to create some realism on the floor so again i've used a brush got some white paint and just painted the white paint across the floor as if there was some light coming from the lighthouse and again this also helps kind of make me pop from the background also as if it's an extra backlight um, the next step I wanted to add some birds to the scene and again I've just created a blank layer and I've used some black paint this time and I've just added birds using the uh, ultimate brush bundle where I have the bird brush, I have a few bird brushes in that bundle um, and again it's just super quick just to pick the brush, dab the birds on and then it's done, it's super super, super simple. Uh, next step again to add the atmosphere, I wanted to add some fog to the scene, again using one of my brushes, I've uh, created a new layer and just used white paint using my brush and just dab the fog around where I wanted it to go and uh, change the opacity to 79% Again, just adds that nice atmosphere to the image and then I've obviously realized I wanted a little bit more fog on the scene and I wanted this behind me again so using a different fog brush one that was kind of rising up I've added that behind me and that again just acts as like another backlight to me and just makes me pop from the image and um, again just using white paint for that next step Again, using one of my brushes, I will, like I say, I will repeat this a lot, use my brushes because I've made them specifically for myself because this is how I like to work. Um, and this, I just find these are so easy and so versatile to use within composite photography and something that I really enjoy using. So I've created a blank layer and I have used my one of my moon brushes and again, white paint and just selected the moon on the scene in the background. And because they're on the own layer, you can then obviously move these anywhere you want. You can put them anywhere in the scene and it just makes it so easy to work and it's just a nice easy way to work it is um so that's the moon brush there the moon layer sorry so the next step obviously with having the lighthouse up here and obviously the light coming off and i'm quite down low at a low angle looking up i wanted to create a bit of a lens flare coming into the scene so all i've done is i've created a new blank layer this time um and i've filled it with 50% grey and I've changed the blend mode to lighten and I've added a lens flare from the lens flares in Photoshop you just go to render lens flare and then you choose which lens flare you want to use and that just adds a nice extra touch to that image again brightens it up behind me but it adds that nice little flare to the scene down the bottom there um, so the next step is the board on this right hand side obviously I've brought that in Obviously you can see I've cut it all out, I've used the pen tool, cut that all out um, and then what well again, obviously wanting a nighttime scene, I've used the on one software filter, uh, filter day to night and used it to uh, turn it to a bit of a nighttime scene so it's starting to kind of come together on how I want it to look. Now as you can see me at the moment, I'm looking way too bright so obviously we want to change that and I want to add a little bit extra 
mood and depth to the image so I wanted to add some fog in front of me and simply by adding a new layer and dragging that above the layer of me, the cutout of me and adding the fog in front of me using one of my brushes it just really changes the feel of the image without it it looks like I'm just plonked on top of that background with it it obviously it kind of blends me into the background so just a little subtle touch which kind of gives that nice effect of blending me into the background so it's still too light for my liking so I've just created a curves layer using the adjustment layers and then all I've done is obviously darkened it down I've just pulled it down darkened it right down and as you can see then that's the effect that I've given so I've inverted that and what I've done is obviously painted out where I don't want it too dark so I've left my face quite light now the next step is to increase the highlights around me just to make me pop a little bit more and this is why I like it that we are doing the studio so I've got these nice highlights on the cheek and on the arm and on the bag and I can just increase those or um, dot them down however I want and it just, it just helps create a little bit more of an edgy look to the image doing it that way so this is one of the easiest ways to blend all of them elements, all of them images together within one image is overlaying a colour on top of that image and by simply creating a solid colour layer from the great, um, adjustment layers you can then pick what colour you want to use to blend all of your images together in your composite and it's just it's a really great way of tying your images together and by changing the soft light to uh, sorry by changing the blend mode to soft light it just blends all of the images together if I go to normal you can see where I've taken out the colour obviously basically from my face because it was making my face look and skin look a little bit too strange but the rest of the scene I'm gonna change it back to soft light it just helps create that nice eerie look on a night time um, which I really like the look of but I still wanted to add some more smoke to the scene I wanted to kind of create some more white smoke as if the, the light it was being backlit by the, the lighthouse so what I've done is obviously created a new layer and simply added a little bit more smoke using one of my brushes from the ultimate brush bundle now at most points this is how I used to leave all my composite images I would leave them all just like that I'm really happy with that but I would leave everything in focus, me, the background, everything you see is like really kind of in focus. But what I've started to do of late is create a full stamp of all of these layers, which is this image here. And then if I switch it on and switch it off, all I've done is added a Gaussian blur to that layer. If I switch the mask off, you can see everything is all blurry. That's just a simple Gaussian blur. But then what I've done is added a layer mask and then paint it out where I don't want the blur to take effect which is over my face and again what that does is creates lots of depth in the image but obviously draws you the focal point into my face uh, and finding that really really effective so there you go folks that is the walkthrough for this composite image I hope you found that useful I hope you're getting something out of it um, they're really fun to create and like I say if you guys want to create them and you want to start uh, building them up layer by layer or figuring out how you can build them up layer by layer the ultimate uh, composite bundle on the website will really help with that process as well the brushes so if you do want to download them folks they're over on the website so we'll leave it there i hope you've enjoyed that i hope you've gotten something out of it if you have please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i will see you folks in the next tutorial see you then